Right. So we have gone looking for the wrecking crew because they've been. They remember, they, I told you, the seventeen of them jumped me. So I've decided now I'm going to smash this to fuck now. I'm going to battle every one of you. So I've gone around looking for them. So it's me, Adish, and Mark. So Adish went on his own to try and have a fight with these lads. The wrecking crew got to this house in middle in 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 fucking Stockton, big Victorian houses. Knocked on the door. There's two or three of them come out and they've had a go and set about him. He's like 17 stone, but there was a few of them set about him. So he's phoned us. So we've gone, we've gone over, me and Mark. Uh, it was about 91. The phone did just come out. We had them big daft phones, phoned us. So we've gone down there. One's, one of these lads is ex army lad. He's not a big lad, but he's one of these sport fucking billies on the bikes, running up hills, parachuting, fucking jumping out of aeroplanes and all that. And that is 17 stone, but. Obviously, he's run out of speed, speed, uh, steam because his body body weight's too big. He's only about five seventy. He's about seventeen stone, so the weight is hindered him. I had to go at him. There's a few of them anyway. We've gone on me, Mark's gone, so we've gone to the house, and there was a lad in there, big body like fucking massive he was. Good lad, and you and I won't mention his name. He's no longer with us now. So I've gone there with Mark, and we've gone down there, and we jumped out of the car because Mark was driving, and. We've gone to the house and the big massive door, the huge and the Victorian house was fucking huge, it was seven foot tall, the doors. So I bit the door anyway, it's just open, it was open, it was like, it was flats that were in. So we're all like flats inside. So we've gone to the door and they said, they're in there, this bloody last went they're in there because we knocked on one door, they're in there. But then we've got in, there's like three or four of them. And the bear is talking, so they've done a runner. The big bodybuilder lad, he was, he was, Mr, he was Mr, um, he, he won the Mr Universe and he was in Mr Britain, he, he competed for the Mr Britain, really qualified for the, sorry, he won the Mr Britain who qualified for the Mr Universe. So he's run out the back, and as he's run out the back, he's run, and he's jumped over the wall, as he's jumped over the wall, he's hit the, hit the floor, and he's got a spiral, uh, spiral break in his, in his leg, so he's broke his leg, for a spiral. So, so I've come out, the, out through the flat, past these people, known, Going for this other lad because the other ones had fucked off. They got off the wall. They'd run. Anyway, I, got, I went to get over and I'd seen him drop down. I thought, where the fuck's he gone? And he, went, he went next door in the, in the house. So he'd gone through the next door, the, the door and went in. And they'd let him in. So we, I'm looking, where the fuck's he gone? I thought, he can't have run up there. He's fucking about 20 stone. Anyway, fucking come back in the house and there was two lads in there, two of the wrecking crew, but they weren't ones who were involved that night. So I'll tell them I'm looking for them. And the one who was the one who was the, the army lad when he got away. He was one of the ones who was there, but I got him later on, but I'd gone there and uh, the next minute we've come out and then as we walk up the street, the fucking ambulance has pulled up. Oh, fucking hell, what's happened here? Maybe he's just fucking died or something. Shit now, so the fucking ambulance has pulled up and then we see the ambulance men going in with the, the stretcher and pushing the stretcher into the house and they've gone in and come coming out with him. Anyway, he ended up, he was friends with Brian Flatley. The both of them are no longer here, both good lads. And he's in hospital, he went, Brian, can you get us a shotgun? That fucking Brian Cock was looking for me, he's beating the fucking house, I've just fell off the wall, I've got a spiral, broke my leg. He said, I'm, I'm going to have to shoot him, I can't fight him, he had my leg's fucking broken now, I was what the fuck I'm going to do. He said, it's too much for me, I'm just a fucking bodybuilder. He said, I'm not into fucking fist fighting with he does. He said, he said, it's all wrong, he said, it wasn't me, it was because the other lad started it. No, there was two stories to the to this, and the lad was bullshitting us, told the others. So anyway, fucking Brian's for me, he said, look, He's going to get a shotgun, he's going to do this one. Like, Tell me what he fucking wants. Tell me, bring your shotgun, I'll come meet now. He said, no, he's in hospital, his leg's broke. He said, so he started telling me the story, what really happened. And anyway, I had to phone this lad up and speak to him on the phone. I talked to him and said, look, I've got the wrong end of the stick. And ended up being friends with me, shaking my hand. And uh, he said, oh, fuck, thank fuck for that. He said, you're, you, you're okay with me? I said, yeah, they're okay. I sorted it all out, but really, it wasn't his fault. No, the big lad, it was the other lads who were with him, so... Anyway, being friends with me, ended up getting working on the door when we worked in the uh, the Heaven Club. I got the nightclub there, he used to work at the door, he was a good lad. We used to have great fun with him, we used to go out the middles and everything, but uh, I used to train them on the way. It's fucking brilliant physique, could have been the best bodybuilder, like a Donnie Yates type uh, physique he had. Absolutely brilliant lad, but yeah, just another story in the day there, guys.